They are two of the greatest women bowlers today. Each already has won a title this year, but once is not enough. Can Liz Johnson or Kelly Kulik win again? Find out next at the Pepsi PWBA Lincoln Open. It is tied to bowl on CBS Sports Network and our continuing coverage of the PWBA Tour for the world's best bowlers compete for a tour title, prize money, and a place in bowling history at the PWBA Pepsi Lincoln Open. Get ready, bowling fans, because we have a classic matchup to start our show. Tour superstar Kelly Kulik, already the winner on tour this year at the Fountain Valley Open, takes on legend Liz Johnson, the Hall of Famer, a two-time reigning player of the year. The number two seed is Tashina Sados of Aruba, and the top seed is Sin Lee Jane from Malaysia. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to PWBA Bowling on CBS Sports Network. Great to have you with us. Dave Ryan alongside the Hall of Famer, Carol and Doran Bauer, joined in a moment by Shannon O'Keefe, tour star as well. This is a rematch of the Players' Championship, the second major of the year title match won by Liz Johnson. So a chance for Kelly Kulik to get some revenge. Absolutely. You know, Kelly was thrilled with her performance at, at that major championship. Liz just, of course, as always, clutch performance but as much as they are friends it is about winning being player of the year being bowler of the decade you name it and I'm going to tell you Kelly is out for, for revenge and I would not be shocked if she comes out full guns a-blazing. <laughs> Sidney Jane of Malaysia had a chance to win her first ever tour title but couldn't come through so for her redemption today possibly. I mean, an unbelievable bowler the whole Malaysian team is just fine-tuned athletes but I'm going to tell you something one thing she did not do was I think make the moves quickly in that match should have moved in she had a much better look so I think today we're going to see her if she does not have reaction or if she's not comfortable she's going to make a drastic move definitely faster than she did in her last match. Let's get some pre-match thoughts with Kelly Kulik and our Shannon O'Keefe. Kelly, we saw you win earlier this season and you've been on a roll ever since. How is that going to help you in what you're preparing for today? Um, you know, every week I'm out here, I feel stronger and stronger and more and more confident with my skill and ability. The lanes are playing more to my A game. I can play more left to right and that seems to cater to my needs. So I'm making good shots. I'm physically strong, mentally getting even better and um, I'm a shot maker. That's what it comes down to. All right, well, thank you, Kelly. Shannon Kelly, thanks. Kelly, sometimes a commentator with us on CBS Sports Network. She'd rather be in the lanes, though. Bowling against a great competitor and Hall of Famer like Liz Johnson. We'll start bowling next. Time to bowl on CBS Sports Network. What a matchup. Titans of the game, superstars. Kulik Johnson head-to-head -to, -head to begin our show. They know each other well. This is going to be fun to watch. Looking for a third straight Player of the Year award. Tops. Tour oh. points entering play here. Oh, my God. And crossing over and leaves the five pin. You can always tell when Liz doesn't like her shot because she does. She says, Ugh, right at the end. Seems like she got a little ahead of herself. Got out of it a little bit too quick. You know, she's got great leverage going into the line, and that one she just looked, you know, it was just one of those deceleration, and but got lucky and left the five pin. Try to get lined up with the shot. Only two time champ on the tour so far this year. The PWBA Storm Sacramento Open and the Go Bowling PWBA Players Championship, the second of four majors on the season. Here's Kelly Kulik. Fountain Valley Open champ. She spoke about with Shannon a moment ago. Really changed her life back in the winner's circle. Ooh. Ten pin. Great shot by Kelly, already into about 1920. Getting it down late, but really soft with her hand. Not really getting really around it like she's done when she's gotten really deep on the last show, but just soft with her hand and just getting it, floating it to the right. She does it so well. Takes care of the single pin square conversion. Carolyn, our future for the sport. We're going to talk about this lane, lane, pattern. lane pattern right here, 36 feet, medium volume, a little bit of a lower scoring pace. But let me tell you, two places to play. Girls try to attack them going a little bit straighter, kind of like Liz. And the girls that wanted to go around them a little, like Kelly, 13 out to about 8, 9. 
balls of choice were balls that read the middle part of the lane smoother on the back end to start as they migrated up left up. it was yes. balls that would turn the corner just a little bit harder on the end of the pattern kind of like that one good ball reaction and the oil pattern and all 10 down for kelly 21 career titles nine majors for the great liz johnson tops as we saw points on tour entering play here a magnificent season thus far great shot by liz here's where we were talking about that area to the right where she was playing pin just wraps around the 10 but a really really great shot Again, using an aggressive ball, but with not a lot of surface. So it allows it to get down the lane a little bit further so she doesn't have to be so far left too early. Let's go back to Shannon. Liz is using a shiny, low RG symmetric ball. Just as Carolyn just mentioned, it's gonna help get through the front part of the lane, but still read the mid lane. It's gonna allow her to be able to pipe it and play a little straighter. Kelly, she's gonna be actually a little deeper than she was the entire week using a low RG symmetrical ball as well, but she's gonna create a little more angle. It's gonna help the ball slow down. Thanks, Shannon. Keep a close eye. On the layout for each of these bowlers. The boys, the 7-10, nearly got some help with a messenger across the deck on the 10 pin. So just a single pin spare conversion here for Liz. Another good shot. Definitely playing further right than Kelly, as we've already mentioned. Coming in just half pocket, getting the 7 out. The pin going right in front of the 10. Rematch, Liz told us she feels really good, very confident. Physical game is where she wants it to be. Keep an eye on that shoulder for Liz. Will it stay down for her? Sometimes that can be an issue. Kelly okay, thinks she's back. For the help on the seven pin, she'll take it. Kelly really clean and smooth out of the ball again, not trying to over rotate it, floating it down to about eight, nine, hitting light and getting the shaker. Again, we've seen that shaker hit really be the one that carries the best when hitting the pocket. With frame to go up by 22. Push. Calling for the push, four pin stance. Kelly said one of her keys on this pattern was that she created swing and hold with her angle. Not so much changing her ball speed, but just allowing her hand to be really loose and free, floating it to the right, yet not overhitting it. So when she did miss a little left, the ball did not overhook on the back. This is also one of the patterns where I think Liz, using a stronger ball with less surface, she should not have to move off of her her area that she likes to play on the on, on, on this pattern just tend to throw it a little bit harder and if the ball goes through the pins she's fine if not make the move or change balls push could have been a lot worse chance for a split on the four pin now for liz Mark. So, you're talking about the bowler of the decade. These two have got to be the top of the list, right? Oh, but by far. I mean, there, <laughs> there really is no other name that comes to mind except Liz Johnson and Kelly Kulik. It's, it's amazing how great they've both bowled. And you know, it, it's 
I mean, maybe I have a little bit of a soft spot because I'm such good friends with both of them and I admire them both so much. Uh, you know, I wish you could split it because I think they've both done great things. Uh, you know, unfortunately, I'm sure one of them will get chosen, but it's, it's a race, that's for sure. Shots like that, Liz might just have an edge on Kelly Kulik as she blasts right through the rack. Powerful shot, all 10 back into the pit. Ball change there. Her best shot. She's actually using the same type of ball that Kelly is using, but playing a little bit of a different part of the lane. But we've talked about it. Still getting it to the same break point, just getting it there different. Carrie. <laughs> Another good shot by Kelly. Great leverage at the bottom. Again, gets it out to about eight, nine. Flat 10 ball just not coming around the corner, but again, it's, it's sparable because as we've seen, the patterns tend to get a little tougher as the games go on. 12 TV appearance for Kelly since the relaunch of the tour in 2015. Got that first victory, Fountain Valley Open earlier this season. Six shows a year ago, but didn't get to the winner's circle until 2017. And she told us pre-match, is she back 100%? Not 100%, but close. And that means trouble for the rest of the tour. I'll take her 50%. <laughs> yeah, you can take the 50. <laughs> Six frame works on a spare. All turned down. Boom. Best looking shot of the match so far for Kelly Kulik. One's a Hall of Famer, one is going to be. Two legends of the game head to head on CBS Sports Network. Conclusion of match one on the way. The road to Richmond for the Smithfield PWBA Tour Championship. Here are the leaders in the PWBA point standing. Liz Johnson, current leader. Two titles to her credit, Diana Zabgalaba. Is in second place through this event, of course she has the Queen's Championship this year in Baton Rouge. Players not only competing to qualify, but the top two point leaders will automatically advance to the TV finals at the Smithfield PWBA Tour Championship September 3rd through the 6th at Richmond International Raceway. Join us on CBS Sports Network on September 6th at 8 Eastern for the TV finals. Tickets available now. You can join the conversation all season on social media by using hashtag road to Richmond. Here's something very interesting about Kelly and Liz. I want everybody to pay attention to where their eyes are at and where they go. Kelly on the left never moves her eye target at all. It is at her break point. Liz gets up, sets up, looks down lane at where she wants her break point to be. And as she is going to the line, she draws that motion back towards her. She does not look at the foul line, and we have discussed this before. All she is looking is she's drawing a motion. That is all she is doing, and she doesn't get back that far to the foul line. But it's absolutely amazing that her head still stays that steady. Really interesting breakdown. That was great. Uh, Down 11. Didn't like it. Crossing over. Seven pin count. What's happening there? Honestly, Again, Liz is a field player. Like we discussed in the past, Kelly is a field player. And earlier on, you know, I mean, she's done a lot of bowling over the last few weeks. So, you know, every now and then you just lose your feel a little bit. You can tell she doesn't seem as aggressive into the line. She's not accelerating into the line. She looks like she's, I want to say, I was going to say digressing, but just kind of not accelerating through her shot the way she normally does. I think once she steps back, takes a deep breath, she'll be fine. But it, her, you know, she has such lower body strength. She doesn't look, use her upper body at all. So once she starts using her legs, she'll be fine. Spare in the six. So here we are in the seventh frame. And Carolyn, I'm very interested in your thoughts on what it's like for both these bowlers to face the other major superstar of the game. It's not easy. Let's watch this shot and then get your thoughts. Bring a 10 pin. What's it like? I mean, Great you know job. from your days on it, it, the very top 
taking on the next best player. It is. You know, it's it's funny when, you know, when I was bowling my best and I was bowling Wendy McPherson and Liz Johnson and Kelly on TV and Lee and Holzenberg. I mean, really, it didn't. <laughs> I didn't really think of them. I really just thought about winning. Um, but when I go back, and I mean, everybody was so great and they were so good at what they did that if you didn't perform or you didn't do your job, you weren't going to win. So you really kind of try to take out, I, want, I hate to say this, but who the person is. Take out the rival. You, you, take really, out the you really do. Mm -hmm. And you just focus on, you know what, the 10 pins that are down the lane. Interesting. It, really, that's all it's about. One championship this year. Looking for a second here. Ten pin again. Now, you weren't really mean, right, Carolyn? But it was more the competitor in you, right? Actually, it was not mean. I, I, I think people get the wrong impression. No, I, I was very competitive, and no, I did not like to lose. Um, but I want to hope that over the years I've treated the people that I've crossed with, uh, you know, w with respect and tried to mentor them. I, I really do. It's Some of them story. are my friends, so I, I can't story. be that bad, right? <laughs> Absolutely not. Come Here's on. Kelly. There you go. Wants that into the one three pocket and has it. Big strike for Kelly Kulik. Latter stages of the match here against legend Liz Johnson. One of the things you'll see Kelly do is remember we talked about her soft hand, right? She won't really move off that spot, but that one seems like she just got around it a little bit more to get that ball to tip right at the end. And that's exactly what she'll do. She's got such good touch. Five straight shows. Six is the record. Double one, two, eight. Liz struggling a little bit with getting that consistent look to the pocket. This one a little bit too straight and hard. Again, this is one of those patterns where it looked a little bit more like a Christmas tree. So there is a little bit oil to the left where these girls did create hold sooner than on some of the other patterns. Oh. Not happy about it, that's why. Whips on the double wood to eight and open frame so late. Really hurts Liz's chances in this match against Kelly Kulik. So just mentioned, the record is six in a row on tour and yes, there's Carol. Oh my gosh, a long time ago, huh? One of four <laughs> bowlers. <laughs> Wow. Six in a row. Boy, and I'll tell you something, um, you know, in relation to that, you know, you get a little tired. You do. And, and I'm not, I am not making excuses. But Liz has done a lot of bowling. She has won, she's had to step up to the plate in majors. I tell you, she could be a little fatigued at this point. Just a little bit. I'm not saying that is a bad thing, but she definitely needs to regroup. Needs a little time. Got a 10 pin stands. And on the bench, Kelly Kulik sees her lead expand at 37 pins. Look at that. Great way to shoot at it. Good spot to be in for Kelly. Go up by 47. Foundation frame. <laughs> Leaves the 10. Another good shot by Kelly. Just can't, this right lane just seems to be a little bit tighter on the back. Again, what I what do I think she's gonna do? Same thing she's done on the left lane. Maybe just get around it just a little bit more, but again, not really rotate as much as she's needed to in the past couple weeks. Just that little bit to get it to tip. Converts the 10 pin. Five titles are majors of her six in her career. To Shina 
Seros from Aruba is the number two seed, and she awaits the winner of this match. Real pleasure to meet the shiny yesterday. Pre-match discussion. Get that one. Strikes on plays for Kelly Kulik. All 10 down, an impressive shot. Do you have a strike song? Uh, I I do. I do. What you is know, it? That one. What's the one? <laughs> oh my God, listen to you. I'll let you Google that. Or Holy Toledo. Check out iTunes. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Finishing touches here for Kelly Kulik. Right. It's going to amount to an impressive winner for Liz Johnson, who had some trouble late. In the seventh, eighth, and ninth frames. And Kelly has wrapped it up. She will move up the ladder. Looking for another title. Will be her second this season. Thank you. Thanks. Match of a two of the greats on the PWBA Tour. Kelly Kulik knocks off Liz Johnson, who just struggled to find the pocket. Only one strike for Liz, 207-159. So Kelly climbs the ladder to Shina Seros of Aruba is next for Kelly, the number two seed. Underway match two. Great start, Kelly Kulik. Like we talked about, Kelly's gonna come out. She is, she's feeling confident. I know she says she's not 100%, but I'm, she's confident enough in what she's doing to be able to execute, control the pocket. And on this pattern, like I said, she said she increased her ball speed a little bit to create that hold and or if she needed the ball to kick just a little harder, she got around it just a little bit, but still wanted to keep that hand soft. So Shida comes to us from Orania Stotts. Aruba, 26 years old, former star at Maryland Eastern Shore. Two-time MIAC team champs. And a collegiate All-American, but she's never won on tour. Business administration major at Maryland Eastern Shore. Wow. Some serious ball speed. A power player. Power player, five steps, holds the ball low, gets it right into the swing, nice and smooth. Again, looks just like. A Verity, a Diana, look at that high back. So look at this. And then look at the power into the line right here. Awesome. And no pulling down from the top. It's just unbelievable how much power they generate with what part of the body? The legs. So there's another tip for everybody watching. You, you generate power by your legs and leverage, not by your arm. Comes in high with a four pin. Let's go back to Shannon. Kelly is going to actually, you saw at the end of last game, leave quite a few plaque tens on the right lane. So she's actually going to move a little bit left on the right lane and just start getting her hand around a little bit more and try to kick that out. Outside of that, she's pretty comfortable. Tashina is actually usually using a stronger ball and she's further left than Kelly and her game plan is just get it further right quicker. So when we're talking about a plaque okay. 10, it's it's that, you know, it's a little bit of that flat 10, uh, flat 10 and that the ball comes in half pocket, you know, it's not high flush on the head pin. Pin wraps around the 10 and leaves it. You know, it's, and it's some think of that as not a bad shot. Again, depends on what you're bowling on. When we're bowling on the tougher patterns, the 10 pin, sparable, you're filling a frame. But what, what we had talked about earlier is Kelly likes to get left and just get around it just okay. a little bit and it'll, it'll okay. be the right move for her. 
Are you looking for some great PWBA gear? Then visit the official online store of the PWBA at shoppwba.com. Shanna's mom got the red hat there. Rooting her daughter on. First ever TV show trying for a championship. Already knocking off Liz Johnson. <laughs> Ten pin for Kelly. It's slow. Another great shot by Kelly. Ball's just a little slow off the back end. You heard her say it. She's in about 20, 21, getting it out to about 8, 9. Just not coming around the corner as much as it is on the left lane. She got around that one just a little bit. I would wait to see what my opponent did before I'd make any drastic move on that right lane. Again, because we've seen, you know, they tend to get a little bit tougher. I would see what my opponent did the next frame or so before I decided what I was going to, if I was going to make another move on that right lane. Honestly, she may just pitch it a little bit, have the ball conserve a little energy, and be a little bit more drastic on the back end. Push. Almost, Kelly, four Sorry. pin stands. Yeah. Well. No 300 game here, but any player who does roll 300 game during our telecast will receive a $10,000 bonus courtesy of GoBowling.com. Visit GoBowling.com to find your local bowling centers. Get tips from the pros and for all the latest news and information about your favorite sport, bowling. <laughs> Kelly has a spare. Even match. Mom, Leisha, in the red hat there, and son, Tishon, watching today. Push. Sure did. She blisters that ball through the whole tan back into the pit. A freight train coming through the pins. Drifts just a little bit left, but slides back into her target. 22 out to about 8 9, using a ball actually that's stronger than the ball Kelly is using. Also using a little bit of surface, but she throws it a lot harder. So, two different styles, two different ball reactions. Sweet, 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 sweet. We assume that's Papiamento. She speaks four languages. Most commonly, Papiamento at home on the island of Aruba. Dutch, English, and Spanish all fluently. You learn those from the very beginning in Aruba. That's so impressive. Again, this pattern had a little bit of that Christmas tree effect. Plenty to move into, yes. Might be a little bit of a bigger move than just your parallel two and one, but she's got plenty to move into with that strong ball. Wide hit, ball. missed the one-three pocket. Just simply a bad shot. It happens. Again, a lot of TV shows, a lot of bowling by Kelly. Every now and then, you know, you just unfortunately make that maybe a little bit of mental error. Got that one out to about the eight board, and it never recovered. One, two, four, eight. A little help on the eight pin, down it goes, and a good mark. Well, a tricky pickup for Kelly Kulik. Kelly using her spare ball to make the one, two, four, or the one, two, four, five. I've seen her do it many a time. Feels a lot safer throwing her spare ball at it. Don't want to take any chances with the strike ball. I like this lane. Happy with that lane. Happy with a strike. 
Likes the left lane again, soft with her hand, made a little bit of a move left, getting that one out to about nine, gets the light shaker. Again, I always felt like the left lane, everybody, I don't want to say liked it better, but you have more area to move without the ball return being there, and I think it becomes a comfort thing. The shine up. Bye, bye, bye. Oh. Oh. Impressive. 60 feet to success. Mom loves it with a sign, right? Right here again. Aggressive through it. I mean, that is acceleration at its finest. She got all that one. Bowers reading right, up push, here. Push, 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 push. Could have been a split. Just the 6'10 remaining. That's a good break. It's funny, most bowlers, you know, somewhere along the way you have the same thought or, or same ritual you're going through. And, you know, she mentioned in her in her uh, interview, staying positive. You know, let go of the bad, stay positive, move on. Just like everybody else was talking about. Jane said the same thing. So, again, it's a, a great mental uh, tip that no matter what you're doing, whether you're bowling well, whether it's an off day, doesn't matter. You gotta let go of those bad shots and just refocus on what you need to do on the next shot. And that shot picks up a 6'10 as her mark. And she's got a lead on Kelly Q. Yeah, I know, I'm gonna be. Tour legend. We'll wrap up match two next. Other finishers, some big names. Rocio. Again, champion this year, one of the great international players on Team Colombia. We have Maria Jose Rodriguez, ex Queens champion there. I say ex Queens champion. Danielle McEwen and Shannon O'Keefe rounding out our field. Don Lucido, Sun Valley Lane's proprietor, tournament host, and a longtime friend of bowling. Great to see John here. And thanks to John and his great staff for the hospitality for this PWBA tour event. Great bowling town, University of Nebraska bowling team, one of the best in the country. Always has been, right? Kelly Kulik bowled at Moorhead State, and she needs a comeback right now. Six frame. No, not what she wanted. Kelly made a ball change, saw her over talking to her ball rep, Del Ballard, and went to a ball, actually the same ball that Tashina is using, but shinier, not as much surface. She has slower ball speed. Just didn't make a big enough move. And those adjustments, that strategy sometimes it just doesn't pay off, even for the bowler as great as Kelly Kulik. We know she said, and, and she talks about it all the time. Uh, the fact is she's analytical, right? And she likes to think things through. And sometimes she says she overthinks herself. You know, maybe I should have just hung in the pocket and hoped for a double. I don't know. But you know what? You do what your gut tells you. And, and she's, that's why she's one of the greatest. She switched back that's to the ball she was using on the select lane. Though. And more trouble. Bad shots. Four, seven, ten. Yep, Kelly, unfortunately, two bad shots. And as China sees that lead just expand. Really nothing to explain there. She said it. She got, I, I think she looked a little slow on the right lane, plus maybe not a big enough move on this one, just a bad shot. And, and it happens. And again, I'm not making excuses, but Kelly again, too, just like Liz. Pulling a lot of games, a lot of TV shows. I mean, mentally, you've... It, you know, you got to refocus, and sometimes that's hard to do. First ever TV show, though, for Tashina. So she's rested. <laughs> she's ready. Now, right now, she's blasting Kelly Kulik. 50 pin lead, seventh frame. Works on a spare. Wow. Push. Yes. Wow. Bala. All Good 10 ball. now, back in the pit with power. Bala. 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 Impressive shot, 
coming out of the commercial break, which is always crucial. She's been sitting on the bench. Unbelievable leverage. Again, just gets all of it. What axis rotation off her hand? She says, hold. That I did understand. So again, using her ball speed to create something that many girls can't create on some of these patterns. In the group. And a 60 pin lead on Kelly Culey. Unfortunately, the rails have come off for Kelly. And at the absolute worst time. Back to back opens, eighth frame, and just can't find it. Boy, when it goes, it goes fast. Lost a look. Controlled it for a game and a half. Game and a half. Such good. Well, you heard her say it, right? We've talked about it, controlling the pocket as they tend to carry down the back <sighs> on one of the, one of these lanes tends to get a little bit tighter. I believe one game was the left lane. Now it's the right lane as we've seen over the course of some of these different patterns. She controlled the pocket, she says. She feels like it's, you know, gone away. That did not look like that bad of a shot, but again, time to probably move. Back to back to back opens. Wow. And a 73 pin deficit. Sinley Jane, top seed from Malaysia, awaits the winner of this match. Tries for her first tour title. Mm. Washout City. Well, <laughs> just unfortunately, things went downhill. And I thought she said that was all me. I don't know. I thought that's what I heard her say, but I still always think a ball looks good coming off of Kelly's hand, so it really doesn't matter. But yes, she's obviously lost her ball reaction. Not comfortable. She'll probably try something in the 10th frame just to learn from it so she knows next time, because that's what type of bowler time. she is. Yep, this absolutely. One is in the books. And to Shina will advance the championship match in her first ever TV appearance. Impressive. It was fun, like a ball of drop. Turkey has a 2 8, but this one's been wrapped up. The Shida Saros from Aruba, first ever TV show. And a win over the great Kelly Kulik. Next up, Sin Lee Kim. Championship match is on the way. Matchup of superstars, Kelly Kulik knocked off Liz Johnson, 207, 159 to start our TV show. And match two, though, to Shida Saros of Aruba, a winner over Kelly Kulik. So Sin Lee Jane and to Shida will bowl for the championship. Ever wonder what goes on during prom events on the PWBA Tour? Now, thanks to the core, you can peek for yourself. See exclusive content like Kelly Kulik during the Pepsi PWBA Lincoln Open Pro-Am. Good luck, everybody. Knock over a lot of pins. Knock over a lot of pins. Good shot. Oh, good nine, good nine. Mark, is that a Manhattan rubber? Is that a Manhattan rubber? No, it's an old angle. Old ultra angle? Old angle. angle? Oh my God. Woo! The AMF angle, they don't make that. Legend, legend. those I need to save those so the pattern itself is 36 feet and it's very flat there's a little separation as it goes so the gutter doesn't necessarily play I like your shirt Mark did you get that last year from here you do well thank you so much for your service we're so proud to have you guys as a sponsor wonderful so I got it is it the ham the bacon what's the favorite product I like bacon 
Bacon. Everybody loves bacon. <laughs> Come on, Tara. Oh, solid, young lady. Do you have another bone ball? Good try, John. You do? That one, it tries to hook and all of a sudden it stops, which means it kind of burnt up. So it's not you, don't think it's you. There you are. Thank you, young lady. You're very welcome. All right, Thank you. keep working at it. Keep working at it. Don't lose faith. You got it. You're welcome. Great access, Kelly Kulik. Also one of our commentators on CBS Sports Network. She sure has been there, done that. 13 championship round appearances. Won this year at the Fountain Valley Open and Team USA. Well, legendary status with that as well. When we come back, championship match. Zin Lee Jane, Tashina Soros, head to head international champ to be determined on CBS Sports Network. It's the PWBA Tour. Red County champion. 2017 PWBA Pepsi Lincoln Open. To China, Jane, head to head. Here's the top seed from Malaysia. Twenty-five years old. She's been waiting for this opportunity. Great start, right out of the gate. Crunches ten back to the pit, big strike. Good shot by Jane. Again, you know, we've already seen her on TV. She admitted, didn't make the moves, you know, as quick as she should have. I think we're going to see her really pay attention to what she's doing on the lane and making those moves. The shot's first TV appearance was impressive. Push. She goes high. 3-10. Pull down on that one a little bit. As you can see, she wasn't as clean. Her hand got around that one just a little bit too quick. Missed left of target, left the 310. She'll change to her spare ball. You want to hit just slightly to that three pin. This is not an easy spare. No open frames for Tashina in the win over Kelly Kulik. Harway, Harway. Nice. <laughs> Stays clean, not easy. And I understood that because she said hard way, hard way. She hit to the left of the three pin, not your conventional way of making it, but got it to hit right into the 10. Nineteenth at the PWBA Wichita Open so far, the best finish, but got second wrapped up. Thinking about much more right now. Push, 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 push. Brooklyn strike. You heard her say push, push, push. Seems like both of those shots, she just got around them just a little bit too early, missed left, ball hooked. Now, whether she feels she's not comfortable or not, her move will have to be either just keep chasing it left or make a better shot and get that ball to the right. Another great game, five step, gets the ball moving slightly on that first step. But again, look at this. I mean, wonderful. I mean, just leverage getting into that power step. And then it just drops down and rolls it right off her hand. One of the straighter players on Team Malaysia, but still just gets around it. No muscle at all. Great game. She's going right at that one three pocket. Straight is greater, right to it. And all 10 back off to a great start. Any player who does roll a 300 game during our telecast will receive a $10,000 bonus courtesy of GoBowling.com. Visit GoBowling.com to find local bowling centers, get tips from the pros, and for all the latest news and information about your favorite sport, bowling. Oh, 
Seven pin count. Looked like a much better shot. Got that one further right down the lane. One of the things in talking to her too, she talked a little bit about varying her speed. I mean, she she does throw it pretty darn hard and is still just so soft with her hand as she's getting around it. But one of the things she says she does work on is slowing it down when she has to, especially when she has to hook the whole lane and or varying that speed just a little bit. Leaves the eight. And for the first time on TV, has an open frame. So Jane on the bench sees that lead expand. Off to a perfect start. Completely focused. Bye, bye, bye. Nicely done. Drive towards the shot. Let's go back to Shannon. After speaking with both Tashina and Jane's ball reps, Tashina's game plan right here is just going to keep moving left. You saw her go a little bit light on the right lane. She's going to have to move a little bit away from it, get away from the wiggle spot, and help create hold by creating more angle through the different part of the lane. Jane is actually using an asymmetrical hybrid ball. It's going to allow her to play a little bit straighter and give her a little bit more hold. Kelly. Well, she's had some great reactions. Can we finally get something from <laughs> Sin Lee Jane for the first time? A fist pump and maybe a little shout. She got that one just a pinch. I mean, just a pinch left and gets the trip four. Here's the thing. She's throwing it much harder on this show. She's also using a ball that's a little bit cleaner, allowing her to do what she does best. Keep the ball in front of her. Wow. Maybe a break on the prior strike, not that time. Malaysian teammates rooting her on. She is on fire right now. The front five. What a start. To China. Nice recovery. 42 pin deficit. But can cut it to it again by 10 pins here with a strike in the sixth. Two great shots by Tashina. Two key components of talking to her last night. I need to hit my mark, but most importantly, I need to stay calm. Looks like she regrouped. She's doing what she needs to do, getting that ball right, keeping up her ball speed. But again, just like Shannon said, and we had noticed earlier, she's just going to keep chasing it left because that's what her game is. First show of her career. And the first adversity. With the open frame in the third. So the turkey here, push, six push, frame. Push, 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 push. Big four. It is very rare to see the big four oh, converted and leaves a 4-7. We spoke about how we could attack this pattern. One is from in, as we see to China, way left, getting that ball about 16-17, out to about 8-9, a lot of ball speed, a lot of rev off her hand. We see Jane much straighter, but look, this is what we want to show you. Still 16 at the arrows, but not getting it as far right, getting it to about 10. So close to the same break point, just approaching it differently with two different types of bowling balls, two different ball speeds. The strike streak comes to an end. Sixth frame for Jane.
Two for 10. Top conversion. Leaves two. Changes the picture a bit. Still in control. Presumably Jane speaks four languages as well. Mandarin, Cantonese, Malay, and English, all fluently. Four languages each. That's impressive. Good looking shot, 10 pin stands. Sinley Jane from Malaysia, getting closer. That's when you know you're mentally tough and you regroup, is when you get back up after a bad shot, get back up on the next lane, and you execute to the best of your ability, knowing that you let it go, refocused, and made a good shot. Pin. CT Raman from Malaysia won the Wichita Open. Sidley Jane from Malaysia trying for a championship as well here today. Sidley Jane from Malaysia, front five. David Open the sixth frame, but bounce back for the spare on the seventh. 43 pin lead. Tashina Seros of Aruba. TV debut for Tashina. And she's in big trouble in this match. Definitely needs to make some really good shots here to get herself back in the match. It's got to start right now. Bring a 10 pin. Really good shot here. Definitely has moved further left. It was a great shot, just comes in half pocket. Almost got the little love tap. You know, it's amazing because you look at it and go, how do I do that? I mean, really, I mean, that's just sheer natural talent, number one. But number two, if you do want to get around it a little bit more, you do have to get your hand a little bit faster from underneath it to create a little more axis rotation. Just a little tip, if you're at home and you throw it a little bit more forward or end over end, just kind of got to change some hand positions where you can get your hand around it just a little bit quicker to get that little bit more axis rotation. Do I think it's going to be like her? Possibly not, but it's definitely something you can work on and practice. Good tips, Carolyn. Love that stuff. Key numbers in the match. Eighth frame. Jane's getting closer. The good shots. Great shot. Great shot. Wow. The other, the other okay. key to that, as you can see, what what she is doing. Do what you do best. Even though you're trying different things in your game, if you throw it like Jane and you're a little bit more of a roller and just a little bit straighter, that doesn't mean it's bad. It just means you want to perfect that and make that your A game and the best of your ability. So just, it's just, I want people who are watching not to think they can't do something. You just got to work at it and try different things to incorporate it into your game. The shot that converts the 10 pin. Sinli Jane of Malaysia from a small town, Eco, about 200 kilometers from Kuala Lumpur. But she's been training with the national team 11 years. Now she lives in the big city. Looking for the big strike, but four pin stands, stays solid. This late in the match. Her key right now, she doesn't really need to strike, just control the pocket, fill frames because of the 
pin difference and uh, she'll be on her way to a victory. There's the four pin. She is studying at a school in Kuala Lumpur, business administration major, but she bowls full time with the national team. And the Sports Council funds all that. So she really doesn't have time to take a lot of classes. In theory, <laughs> well, she has college eligibility, but couldn't play or bowl here in the States because of her status on tour. Coach O'Keefe, as she reminded us last night, would have been all over that for possibility of recruiting her. Great shots like that. So close to a title. Definitely a great regroup after her last TV performance. She had a game plan. She stuck to it. She was aggressive. And the condition, whether you say you play it right or maybe it came to you, when you're aggressive and right on target from the very beginning, it's it's easier to get a little loose. Subi, 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 Subi. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Don't look at my stairs. Okay. That one you almost see like it, it double dribbled a little bit. Kind of double bounced. Got it way right. She got it down to about six. And ball just never recovered. Great performance, though. I mean, that's, we will definitely see her on TV again. 222 in her first ever TV match against the great Kelly Kulik. Unable to keep it going, though, in the championship match. Simley Jane will be a winner for the first time on tour, joining Diana Rocio. CT Raman, also from Malaysia, as international champs on tour. It's a big theme in our broadcast, CDB, every week. So many young, outstanding players from overseas making their mark. And I'm with you. Tashina is a star. Oh, absolutely. All 10 down there. I know you like the game of Verity Crowley as well from Great Britain. Oh, absolutely. I, 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 I think they're all studs. I mean, just, you know, it's a different generation. It, it's, the game has evolved, and there's so much more talented leaving college because so many of these programs. Shannon O'Keefe, Brian O'Keefe, really? Yeah, I mean, I'd like them to be my coach, too, too. in college. <laughs> you know, Weber International. I mean, these are training centers and training places at these colleges where they have the greatest coaches in the world helping them prepare in four years to come out here. Oh. And mom's still waving the sign. That's what moms it's, do. I think that's, that's what great. moms do. That's right. Ostat on the hat there, short for Aranya Stott. And Sinley Jane is going to be a champion on tour. Hello. Shiner with a nice fish, our Smithfield moment of the match. Carolyn had to be the great start for Sinley Jane with the front five. Unbelievable. Comes out with the game plan, aggressive on every shot playing. Hey, straighter is greater. She kept up her ball speed. Repeat, repeat, repeat. That's exactly what they're known for in the first five frames were there. That pin helicopters and somehow doesn't take out the four. <laughs> I don't know how. Just missed it. Ball's just a little bit high on the head pin. Leaves the four, but look at that pin. The pin just not Defying going anywhere physics. near. <laughs> just not, not going anywhere take near it the four pin. Oh, 
<laughs> There's some emotion, some energy for Jane. She had one fist pump earlier, and now gets the Team Malaysian competitors clapping and the rest of the crowd here. This one is over. Come on, come on. <laughs> Having some fun. Why not? She's done it. Sin Lee Jane of Malaysia, a champion on the PWBA Tour. It's time to celebrate for Team Malaysia again. Twice in 2017, winners on tour. C.T. Raman in Wichita, and now Sidney Jane. For the first time in her career, Sidney Jane of Malaysia is a champion of the PWBA Tour. Time now for the trophy presentation with Shannon. Representing Pensy, Pepsi from our host at Sun Valley Lanes and the proprietor of the year, John Lacito. Thank you, Shannon. On behalf of all of us in Lincoln, Sun Valley Lanes in the state of Nebraska, it's pr I'm proud to present you the Pepsi Championship Trophy. Congratulations, Jane. Thank you. Jane, we've seen you now back-to-back -back shows. The first one didn't turn out the way you wanted, and now here you are standing in the winner's circle. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very good right now. Uh, finally, yeah. You've said to me yesterday that this would be a dream come true for you to win out here on tour and seeing you do this and the emotion that you showed throughout that match was that just spur of the moment emotion or was this just it comes naturally, it comes naturally. yeah <laughs> <laughs> what's it like having all of your friends with you while you're living this moment uh, i'm very happy to share this moment with my coach my manager and also my teammates and besides that uh, thank you all the fans Rennie thank you congratulations to Sin Lee Jane from Malaysia her first career PWBA tour title as she wins the 2017 Pepsi PWBA Lincoln Open Congratulations to Sin Lee Jane of Malaysia, first ever title on tour in the Pepsi PWBA Lincoln Open. Join us Tuesday, July 18th, 8th Eastern for the PWBA Greater Detroit Open. Now for Carolyn Dornbauer, Shannon O'Keefe, the entire CBS Sports Network crew. Thanks for.